Viewers may recall Dan McLaughlin from our Charlestown Project and others. Welcome back, Dan. Thank you, Norm. Now, you started on the firebox and smoke shelf, but this isn't ordinary masonry. What is it? It's Icelandic pumice. Pumice, so it comes from the volcano. It comes from the volcano, yeah. It looks like it's held together with some kind of fibers. Yeah, it's a refractory cement, and it's reinforced with fibers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How did they develop this product? Well, it's a company in Denmark who may, used to and still do make industrial chimneys, and they developed this firebox and smoke chamber to go with their chimney system over here. So this would be one of the flues? That's one of the flues. It's an oh. inner and an outer, an outer layer. This stuff is incredibly light. Very lightweight. It's very nice to work with, very easy. What about creosote getting on the inside of this? Well, creosote only forms when it condenses against the chimney wall, and because this is so insulative, it keeps the smoke hot and it escapes from the building before it has a chance to condense. So unlike a masonry chimney sitting on the outside of a building like this that turns ice cold, this, in fact, looks a little bit like styrofoam. So it's, it's insulated, it doesn't get cold. That's and right. And so the fireplace is going to work better. That's right, absolutely. How is it to put the pieces together? You have nice big pieces. That must save time. It's very simple to put together. Shall we, shall we do the next sure. piece? Oh, so look at this. You're not using mortar and trowel. You've got the uh, pastry bag and some kind of uh, adhesive. What is it? This is a refractory adhesive the company provides. And we just put a bead along here. Wow, it couldn't like be easier this. than that. Oh, very simple, yeah. OK. OK. Boy, if this was cement, it would be pretty heavy. Now, I suppose the advantage of this system is that because this is so insulated, when the homeowner lights the fire, rather than having a column of cold air come shooting down the masonry chimney and blow smoke in, it's just going to go right up the shaft. That's right. Instead of trying to heat up five or six tons of masonry, it's warm right from the very start. Now, how much does it cost? Well, the material is probably double what uh, block and clay tile would be, but the labor is a half to a third. Because you have these big pieces you can set in place. It goes up very fast.